Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's lunch is a quarter peri peri chicken meal uh, with rice and chili sauce. And it's from Peri Peri St Albans, Hatfield Road. I got a quarter peri chicken plain. I'm just gonna show you it. Get out. Tell you what, it does look good, but I think the um, edges are slightly burnt because you can see it on my hands. Can you see the burnt cross? So they overdone it. But in all honesty, I prefer overdone than undercooked food, especially chicken. You want chicken to be done well. That's not something you can eat rare. Uh, you just have to be stupid if you do that. And um, the bag, I've got plain here, which means no marinade. But there's some bit of like, some was dripping at the bottom of the bag. So as you can see. Yeah, I think there's a hole there or something. But it's right, it's plain. If that was mild, the, 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 it would be an absolute carnage. There will be a leak everywhere. Because mild has a marinade in, the plain one doesn't. And um, I specifically requested leg piece. Because breast piece is just, especially if it's grilled, it's just too much. And it's, you know, it's just horrible. Trying to chow down your way for a massive breast piece. Um, I asked just for one chili. You don't need that many chilies with um, with uh, peri peri dishes or platters or whatever you want to call it. You just need the one dip. Make sure you have a spoon or a fork for the rice. And um, uh, obviously the chicken there. Now I did initially I did get myself a scissors. So I was gonna cut around the uh, the paper bag it came in or the foil bag and split open so I can put the chicken on there to rest it so I can eat comfortably. But you know what? I've got no time for that. It's just only one piece of chicken and you know, I don't think it's a big issue. Um, I can already tell this is going to taste great. I got a quarter peri chicken last time with chips. Sorry, not with chips, uh, with salad, I think. It was okay, but the breast piece wasn't that good. I think it looked a bit old to me anyway. But with the leg piece, it can never go wrong. I know it's much smaller, probably a third, a third of its, a third less than the breast piece. But it's much more tastier. Uh, if you're really hungry, then yeah, by all means, go for the breast piece. Uh, I don't know what it is, but peri peri lately, the chicken's not as fresh for some reason. I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, and I don't know how to pinpoint it. It's just not as fresh um, as you normally expect it to be from a grilled place. You know that, and I had an issue with my last order because the breast piece was quite bad. But I didn't say too much because I'm a regular there. Um, now I, I, I'm I'm still to figure out what's the best way to to order it because um, you know at the end of the day I want fresh chicken. And on my last video uh, where I said um, my last fried chicken uh, meal, that video I told you the secret uh, when you're ordering fried chicken, make sure you always order. Bang on lunchtime, or even before lunchtime, if you can, if you're if you're organised, because you're gonna get fresh, piping hot fried chicken. Do you know what I mean? So, and I don't know if that because now it's quite late in the afternoon. Um, you know, I had to tie up some loose ends from work and etc. So now I'm um, just um, ordered this. Now I don't know if it, if if the same principle applies to as the fried chicken. Um, because as you can see, 
you know, late in the afternoon, the chickens, even on, even on the camera, honestly, I can I can tell you for a fact on the camera itself, I can say, yeah, this is not the most freshest grilled chicken there is. Just by the edges, just by particularly this bit, you can just see it's it's a, it's, a, it's not that great. You shouldn't have that kind of color there. The edges just give it away, especially like those corners there. Uh, you have to be really an expert to kind of know. I'm gonna, I've just ripped this off, and it's always these edges, yeah, on on a chicken that you can tell. I'm just gonna focus the camera on this. So just one sec. And uh, it looks like it's not gonna focus for some reason. But anyway, um, it, it's just. Um, let me try try here. There. It's like hard, not hard, but it's just firmed up on the end, on the edges. And that's how you know it's not a fresh chicken. Honestly, I've seen it too many times. Um, anyway, um, next time. So right now the time is, I think it's gone past uh, half four. Let me just check. All right. A bit earlier than half four then. But honestly, next time I'm just going to order a bang on... 12 uh, p.m. or even 11 period period they they open at like uh, half 11 sorry 11 a.m. in the morning but I think they get a bit piss uh, a bit pissy when you go in too early or something um, uh, you know, I can imagine because you know I'm, at the end of the day if I was working there and then I see you know some fat guy walking in at 11 a.m. in the morning you know that's gonna piss me right off as well so um, what I'm going to tactfully do just go in right before lunchtime about a quarter to twelve then that's when I'll order it um, uh, so that's when I'll I just want to see so if you guys can you know visually remember this piece and my next video hopefully is going to be um, an order made just before lunchtime so I just want to see if there's any difference and again I'm not li liking the burnt bits but again as I said earlier better burnt and cooked well then undercooked so um, the rice you can tell is going to be the same the rice is very good and again we'll just have to compare next time i order from there um yeah so this is the perfect combination if you go peri peri you obviously you can see it's come on the you know on the table there's a cloth on there uh if you go in um if you go peri peri this is what i recommend highly uh grilled chicken rice one chili sauce you don't need mayonnaise unless you really love mayonnaise but at the end of the day on my previous video i did explain when you when you when you run that mayonnaise under the tap it's so hard to wash down and at the end of the day if something's that difficult to wash down right why on earth would you want to put in your system in other places like um Lebanese kitchen their garlic mayo is uh, if you wash it you know don't get me wrong obviously garlic mayo is going to be a bit more um, more difficult to wash off than chili dips chili dips you just wash it once and it comes right off but the thing is with the peri peri one the garlic mayo it's just extra difficult it's like there's something inside the the mayo that's got that's caused it to have this consistency where it's just stubborn to wash off the pot and you know, I'm I'm hoping you guys wash your pots and recycle them because that, you know that's just silly. The amount of takeaways you're gonna have, and you're gonna just chuck them into, straight into landfill. That's a story for another day. But anyway, guys, thanks for um, watching. Uh, if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and look out for my next video because I'm gonna I wanna compare the if I get an earlier order on the grilled chicken as opposed to this. Peace out.